BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout. So if you are a reseller, these are brands that if you find them, you wanna grab them because they resell well. Hi there, welcome to Real Girl Thrift. My name is Angie and I am a Christian. I am a stay-at-home mom and I am a reseller of clothing on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I do thrift with me's, I do thrift hauls. Um, I give you some tips and tricks about what works for me as a reseller. So if you enjoy reselling related content and you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and we can just kind of encourage each other, throw out questions where needed and just kind of see um, different brands that each other are um, using to sell well. So this is a thrift haul. I only went to one thrift store today. Okay, so let's just jump right into the thrift haul. So I spent $95.26. I stayed under $100, which is kind of my goal. Um, when I thrift, I got 10 items. So let's just jump right into what I got. Move my purse. Okay. I don't think I've picked this brand up before, um, but I know it sells well. So this is a Bolo brand, Beta brand or Beta brand. These are a size small. And these are some black slacks. They have a good wide leg to them or maybe kind of like a flare leg. They've got the fake out pockets on the back. So they're in really good condition, so I'm excited about that. They're a size small, in case I didn't mention that. Okay, next up. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, Spanx. These are a size small, and these are a pair of black. They look like, um, like work pants. They got the they got the um what do you call this is it a pleat i don't know sometimes i just don't have all the words to express what i need to say um these are the fake out pockets too so yeah these are in good condition that was a good find so the Spanx, just like the straight up Spanx, sell um for the most money there's like some like Sarah Blakely Spanx. That those are the assets. There's the ready to wow Spanx. So those might still sell well, but they might not sell for as much. Okay, this was a good find. Um, I was surprised at the price that they had these at um, because normally at this place, they mark up brands that they know are good brands. Um, so they didn't mark these up, so that was exciting. I think it might have been a mistake on their end. Okay, Diane Von Furstenberg. And these are a size 10. These are not leather pants, but they kind of look like leather pants. Um, they're more of a straight leg, and um, they're made out of polyester. Um, cotton. So those are the two main fabric contents of these pants. So um, I feel like that was a good find. I'm hoping that those will sell well. They are in good condition. I don't really see any issues with them. Next up, we have another beta brand, size small. And these are a navy blue. I believe this is pretty similar to the pant I just showed you. I don't know if the other one had the little belt loops or not. Um, these are also in good condition. So, yeah. They as well have the little fake out pockets. Fake out pockets, what I mean is that it looks like a pocket, but it doesn't go into a pocket. It's like sewn up at the top. So yeah, if you want to know the fabric content on these, they are made of rayon, nylon, and spandex. 
So they're a really comfy um, work pant to wear. It'd almost be like you're wearing like some really comfy leggings instead of a work pant. So that's what that brand is all about. Okay, next up, this one. So at this thrift store, the um, I wasn't getting Wi-Fi. I wasn't getting good cellular data there. And so I just had to go by my instinct. I couldn't really look up things because my phone wouldn't go there. But I'm going to look this up. Hopefully I can link. Ooh, there's a big fuzz ball on here. Eee, that's nasty. It's quite nasty. Sorry, I'm trying to pick it off before I do my video. I want to send it out the window, but I'll put it in my bag. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to have to look this up. Blanc Noir, size small. To me, I was thinking that that's a good brand. I could be totally off. It has the little um, hardware on the back. And this is a sweater. So this is white um black and gray it also has the thumb holes um <clears throat> so after i look up this brand obviously i will post on here maybe what the resale value of this is um so yeah it's a pretty sweater so i mean i think it'll sell you know but what i did because i was thinking that it was a good brand was i checked the fabric content so based off of the fabric content, I would know, is this a good brand to sell? So it's made out of, um, it has 29% lamb's wool um, and it has 8% cashmere. So there's some other <clears throat> uh, fabrics in here, but with those two, I thought, okay, there's a little bit of wool and there's a little bit of cashmere. Maybe I'm good on it. So that's kind of a trick that you can look at um, look at the fabric content too because that matters as well as the brand. Okay, next up we have Spanx. These are the Assets by Sarah Blakely. These are a size extra large. I actually found this exact pant not too long ago in a different size. I think these might be a little better condition than the other ones were. Um, but these have the little stirrups on the heels. So yeah. Um, and I believe they're a high rise. I will um, link my closet on Poshmark if you want to check out any of these items. Okay, next up, I was excited about this. We have another pair of Spanx. These are also a size small and um, these are like a leopardy print, so I'm feeling like these will do pretty good. Skinny legging leg, so that was a good find, yeah. And they don't have any issues to them, so they're in good condition. Okay, next up, these I paid up for. Rag and Bone, 20, size 25. I paid the most that I normally pay for Rag and Bone, but I thought, you know what? They can be, they tend to be a quick flip, and these are in good condition. These are like the waxy, um, I don't even know how you call it, type of fabric, moto type of pants with these zippers. And they have some zippers on the bottom too, so I thought they were pretty trendy and they were a good one to pay up for. Okay. So, these I kind of debated on because of the size. Um, these are Athleta, extra, extra small. Um, these are some leggings, legging pants, I guess you would say. Um, but they've got kind of a flare leg to them. They're gray. They have back pockets. There's the little Athleta logo. They have real pockets. These are no fake outs. These are some real pockets. So those should do good. 
hopefully. I don't know about the size. Okay, looks like I've got one more item in here. This is, I love picking up this brand because it seems to be a pretty quick flip. Cloth and stone, this is a size small, and this is a, like a blue denim -y faded, it's not faded from wear, I think it's just the look of it, button down, um, long sleeve shirt, it's got some buttons on the sleeves too, so I thought that was a good find. I was asking my husband the other <laughs> the other day if I always get confused like is it button up or is it button down so if you're listing a jacket with buttons do you say button up jacket or button down jacket and we decided based off of his knowledge <laughs> that it's button up unless he said it's a men's collar thing that has buttons on it then you say button down collar so Hey, you know, ask your man sometimes. If you don't know, you may be surprised at what you find out. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up. Also, you can hit the bell notification because I just found out that YouTube doesn't, even if you subscribe to a channel, it's not always going to show you a new video on the feed. Um, but if you hit the bell, you will be notified when the new videos come out. So I didn't realize that before. Anyways, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're staying healthy. Um, I know it's kind of a stressful time right now. So if you have a prayer request, um, I like to pray for people. Um, so you can just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be praying for you. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.